What is up you guys? Welcome back to Toyota Fanatics. Uh, I actually tried to start filming this video out there, but it is bright and I have not been out of bed very long. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it right here. But uh, let's talk about uh, what happened yesterday. So yesterday I decided to take a day off from filming a YouTube video. And, uh, and I don't mean like I consciously chose to take the day off. I just, uh, I knew when I woke up, I wasn't gonna make a video. Unlike some other YouTubers who just make videos uh, all the time, even if they have no, no topic, uh, I don't do that. I'm just gonna make it when I'm feeling inspired and I got something good to show you guys. But I don't know if I showed you guys before, but the headliner right here was actually hanging down. It started coming, uh, coming undone. So yesterday, out of the blue, I had no intention of working on the truck or anything. I came out here and, uh, and I started messing with it and I started tucking it behind and I glued it back up. And, and of course it doesn't look perfect, but I wish you guys could have seen how it looked before. It was definitely starting to come undone. So next thing you know, I gotta start grabbing some Lysol wipes, just doing some general cleaning. You know, every single time I get in here and uh, and start and start cleaning with a Lysol wipe, next thing you know, the Lysol wipe is just black. That leads us over to the driver's side seatbelt. So seriously, guys, I'm out here yesterday with just a uh, just a rag cleaning some stuff up, and next thing you know, I have the entire seatbelt pulled out and in a bucket of soapy hot water right here. I uh, soaked it for about half an hour, and then I toothbrushed it and it is completely fixed. The retractability works. It just feels amazing. It's completely soft again. And when I poured out the crystal clear soapy water back into the sink, it was, it was black. It was absolutely black with filth. I've never seen anything like it. The seatbelt works amazing again. I couldn't be happier. I had no intention of having the results be that good. So I woke up this morning and I was inspired to do the passenger side. If you guys could even begin to feel how hard and gross this thing is. And this is just the passenger side, you guys. I would venture to say that the driver's side was twice as bad. I mean, the driver's side was absolutely repulsive. And I don't wanna blame it on the guy I bought it from, like necessarily he was a dirty guy or anything. I think the fact that the, the window opening is right here, I think all the crap on the road blows in here and just being 25 years old and he was a little dirty. but. We're gonna do this, and uh, mainly because I want to show you guys what the bucket of water looks like once we uh, once we pour it out. All right, so that's it. That's our mission for today. I'm up, and uh, I think I'm gonna go eat a bowl of cereal real quick, and then we'll get on this. And uh, oh, I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be just your mind's gonna be blown and see how nasty this water is. I wish I could have shown you the bucket yesterday. That driver's side seatbelt was just just nasty. Uh, I had no intention of ever doing this. I didn't. Uh, I was very skeptical that it was actually gonna make a difference on the retracting, um, but. I was wrong. This is an absolute must do. All right, let's jump into it. So I've let it soak for about half an hour and, uh, and this is my favorite part right here. We take a little toothbrush and, uh, and we just start brushing. But look at this little thing I found. We got a frozen uh, power brush. That's what I'm talking about.
There it is. I, uh, I thought I'd put it next to the white truck so it'll, you know, give a proper display of how dirty that is. So yeah, that's seatbelt juice right there. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, if you guys have any idea what's in there, definitely leave a comment below. But uh, yeah, I'm happy that's out of the seatbelt. So um, I hope maybe it's just dye or something, you know, from when they made the seatbelt. But I venture to say that that's just 100% filth right there. I'm telling you, you guys, yesterday the, uh, the driver's seat was twice as bad. I mean, it was, it was something else. And it, the, the seatbelt itself feels so good today. So I'm really happy I got this done. The two seat belts in the very back for the extra cab, uh, these things are like brand new. I was totally thinking yesterday if I could somehow swap those out for the front ones, but uh, there's no way. So yesterday uh, I did a rinse. I did another bath in just some hot water to, uh, to rinse it off. And then, uh, and then you'll see what's next. Right, you guys so it's actually been a wonderful day anytime i get to get some truck stuff done i'm super happy about that but uh, i just went inside checked my phone and actually got some uh, some bad news check it out i got a message from the guy i bought the wheels from on ebay and uh they're all sold out or you can't get a hold of any that sucks this always happens to me okay not always but multiple times i bought stuff on ebay and it turns out that they didn't have it so Oh well, you know, in life you gotta just roll with it. So the only problem is there was probably 60, 80 sets of uh, 15 by 10 inch wheels. Only ha half were chrome, half were black. Uh, not a ton to choose from, but uh, that was the only ones exactly like that. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go do a little bit of a variant. And uh, you know what, That's I guess they weren't meant to be. So I'm gonna go inside right now and I'm not gonna get up until I figure out what those next wheels are. So. Um, all right, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe, stay tuned, find out what those wheels are. They're gonna be awesome. Um, all right, that's it. Have a good rest of the day.